Hello, this is Barry from Everwave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at the top seven stocks in the Nasdaq. So it's going to be all tech stocks as usual. So we call update, and uh, we're going to start off with Apple all the way down to Google or Alphabet, call it whatever you like. And uh, we're going to start it um, with a weekly chart here in Apple because so if you've been following, obviously today was uh, I mean this week uh, today is Sunday the eighth of September. This week was the red week for uh, all major U.S. indices, and um, it uh, I think the news is a couple of weeks old about Warren Buffett selling his Apple sh stock, um, his share in Apple. Now I can be wrong, but I've been counting as a one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I get called a fans a fan of one twos, but if if you understand the natures of these markets, um, you would realize that I mean, calling a one two one two one two for I mean, remember what we're talking about here. We're talking about Apple. This is the top company in the world, um, and uh, uh, the, what I'm trying to say is uh, it, it it's. Being limited on the upside now, I'm I'm not saying it's gonna get to twenty thousand, but not being bullish on it, uh, I think it's quite dangerous. Now, oh, I don't know why these are showing on the weekly. So now, as I said, I can be wrong. It's absolutely possible we crash tomorrow, we crash next week, we crash next year. However, if we now start and also to support my one two one two, look at the angle of ascent here, right? Look at how steep this is, and this is exponential, right? Sorry, this is a log scale. So if it's a, a line in log scale, what it's going to be in uh, exponential scale. It's going to look like this. Right? So uh, that's cool uh, log, um, the properties of logs. Um, so that's when my math uh, degree comes handy. Um, that's <laughs> Wasted uh, time, years of my life to do this. Now, um, getting into the count, um, as you can see, if this is a one, two, one, two, and why am I saying this? Largest correction, second largest, third largest. So it makes me think it's, uh, you know, it's we're getting, we're nesting. So it's one less degree every time. Um, and here at this point, um, you know, a one, two, one, two, four, five, three, four. I'm looking for this wave five. Now, if we measure wave three, primary three, right? Equality has been passed of three against one at $90. The next target will be 760. Now you may ask Barrett, that's, what is that? Like 200% or over 200% away. Is that possible? Yes. Will it happen? I have no clue. However, however, Looking at things the way they are, it is possible. Um, and uh, if we zoom in, if we start to zoom in now, okay, that's showing more than I need it. So as you can see here, obviously, during the US, as you, if you've been following the channel, and if you haven't, I don't know what you're waiting for to subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 2,500. I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, let's get to 3K ASAP. Help me out. As I don't ask for any money, and I do weekly uh, daily updates, um, daily videos, daily up uploads. Um, anyways, um, ABC. I see a three-wave move here. One, two. Now you can count this a few different ways. I don't know if I still have. Um, I probably deleted the other ways you can look at at them. Uh, but you can count this a few different ways. Um, you could squeeze a wave one here and then ABC. The problem with that is that you kind of have a three wave move. Um, so that's why I rather have is a one, two, three, four, five. Sharp two, two, and in near the wave four, one lesser degree, uh, which is an actual uh, common um, guideline for Elliot. And at this point, uh, once again, call me crazy. Once again, I don't know why these are showing. Oh my God. Call me crazy. One, two, one, two, to infinity and beyond. Now, is that really bullish? Yes. Is it going to happen? I don't know. 
remember that uh, as I say almost every week on when I up, up, update um, top, uh, tech stocks, Apple has been lagging behind the others. While the others were going higher, Apple was doing this. When Apple started to move higher, the others started to consolidate. Now, um, I, in my long-term dividend portfolio, Apple is my largest single holding. Um, I, th I think it's a bit over 10%, uh, and my average uh, buy price is 186, I believe. Um, and I'm kind of blinded by more, but I don't. I don't. I want to wait still. I also have a few other different stocks, uh, such as CRM, um, and Mastercard, especially CRM. But I'm waiting. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is, I can see this. I see this as a three-wave move, which you know. I see this one as a three-wave move, which makes me think. I don't know if this wave two is in place. We could have had a. B, C, up. That's also possible. Uh, but uh, being a three of move, three ways a trend I'll make. Now, you may ask or wonder, you may ask me or wonder, is minor three here? So one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's possible. Uh, it would be a very short three because we stand at 0.618. I'll show you. We stand at 0.618 minor 3 against 1 as you can see 0.618 minor 3 which I have it here just it, it's not a target just to get it out of the way um, so I don't know it's all uh, um, what I would watch for what I would look for is um, as I always say work with the numbers 200 must we must trade above 200 and uh, 220. If we get, if we manage to get something like this, nope, wrong tool. Like this around 220, then it gets interesting. Um, so that what I look for. I'm bullish on Apple, um, and I'll continue being as long uh, until the market, uh, you know, gives me good reason why not to be bullish. Now. Um, and by the way, I if you want to take a look at the NASDAQ, the NDX, then uh, I will leave you the link to that video to the most recent upload right here. So you can take a look also what what I'm seeing in the index. Uh, now, Microsoft. Microsoft, as expected, um, I'm not as bullish. Mm, I don't like when all these waves show up. God, it's so annoying. A, I'm looking for completion in B. Can it, can it be completed here? Yes. Uh, I would like to see something like this. So further down, so I'm not as bullish on Microsoft because as you can see, as I was saying also previously, Microsoft did this while Apple was consolidating. Then what do we have? We have Amazon. Again, um, Similar to uh, kind of Microsoft, I'm not as bullish. Um, I struggle to count. I'll show you on the hourly. I'm I struggle to count this move up as a five wave move, and I see this. I mean, to be fair, so it's either A, B, C. I'm gonna keep it like that, but it's either A, B, C up down or uh, wave B goes here and we're now into one two within wave C it's one of the two uh, I don't really see this being a five wave move to the upside um, can be wrong but evidence uh, suggests um, so now here on meta as I said Looking for a one two in progress. Let's watch. Uh, let's monitor 500. 500 need to provide support at some point. And uh, let's see. Okay, so I pretty much when I was wrong last week. So this two three four five three four. Sorry, A B 
A, B, C. Yeah, we could be close. Could be close to the bottom. Let's look for it right here. If we get some sort of uh, support. That's what I look for. Tesla. Awesome. Awesome. I'd like to see that. Okay. So still within a triangle as it appears. Hope. I mean, no. I don't want to say hopefully because I hope so. Um, but just because I want to be right, I'm not sure. And just hope will F you up in this business. Um, A, B, C, potential wave E of four in this long glass in triangles to your triangle and then upside possible. Nvidia, I made a video on Nvidia, so I will leave you the link to that video. Just dedicated to video to Nvidia. I will link you to it uh, so you can just watch an in-depth analysis. By the way, if you want me to do in-depth analysis on all of these stocks, so I'll make singular videos for all of these, please let me know in the comments. Oh, okay. So as you can see here on Google, I was bearish. You can see I wasn't calling a bottom. I was, you know, kind of like uh, Amazon and, and Microsoft. I'm not sure if Wave B was or is in place. Google seems to be confirming it wasn't. And as I said, so now I don't know if it's a wave one. Sorry, I don't know if, yeah, what I mean, I don't know if it's A or one at this point. We could get into something big, um, but I wouldn't be so bearish. So downside here, the next logical level will be down here. As I said, Google is facing a few problems, a few legal issues. Um, they have been um, judged as a monopoly in the I think browser business um, not I just you know, read some articles um, so they are f w w all I know is and all I think I, it should be worth knowing they're facing some legal issues and you can see that uh, you know people buy these stuff some investors buying these and by investors I mean the big boys uh, they're losing trust and uh, this is all a game of trust if I trust you with my money I will give you my money and uh, you will go up. If I don't, I'll sell, you go down. It's all a game of trust. Um, so yeah, downside, uh, look for, so at 150, oh, that's interesting. Look for 120. 120 doesn't need to um, fail. Ultima so ultimately 120 and um, I would get, I would expect something to bounce around here, but yeah. Uh, and I think that is going to sum it up. So at this point, to be fair, uh, Google opens up uh, to, let me just show you the weekly, to a potential interest in a buying opportunity for the long term in my long term portfolio. Um, because as you can see, I'm pretty bullish. Now, the worst case scenario is this is here. That would be quite. Um, so that, that would be a double-edged sword. What do I mean by that? Well, at that point, we could get something like this. So let's say cycle one, cycle two, and then I'm in infinity and beyond. At that point, being as old or as young as I am, buying here, it's going to make me buy a, la a Lambo here. So this is Lambo territory. Um, if I'm right, which uh, it's all if and buts. If not, then as, as I'm suggesting, we are into intermediate one. We're now making intermediate two. And then at that point, we can still see a bit more upside, maybe towards at least 500. Be nice. Uh, you might be wondering, can we do this? Yes, it's possible. Um, the problem is, if I'm so bullish on Apple, if I'm so bullish, uh, Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft is in a similar situation um, as for oral upside, so I'm waiting for downside and then upside. So I'm not that bearish on, uh, I mean, I'm pretty bullish on Microsoft too. I'm pretty bullish on Amazon. Meta is halfway. 
I'm very I'm not so bullish you, if you can watch that I'm bullish on Tesla even though it's kind of a different business than the others um, so yeah they, they yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't look for that hyper bearish that's called a hyper bearish wait for it that goes here now nah, I would remain bullish uh, as I said I will remain bullish until I see a good reason not to be and I mean with the fear you know with the recession fear stepping into the market so on and so forth uh, that makes me bearish uh, sorry uh, bullish you may ask how is how does that make sense well um, I've, I haven't been in the markets for too long compared to others but I've been long enough to realize if you buy good companies, when there's fear, you got to, as Warren Buffett says, you got to buy fear. Now, that's all, that's a sentence all the trading gurus will tell you, buy fear, sell greed, blah, 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 buy, buy when there's blood in the streets. Now, I can tell you, buy when there's blood in the streets, you need to big uh, balls of steel. Um, but I, can, I can assure you. Um, but if, if you have a convention in your analysis and you buy good companies for the long, I'm, I'm talking about the long term, by the way, and obviously none of this is financial advice, um, for the long term, that's a, a golden opportunity. Um, but what will happen? I don't know. We'll find out. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next one.